Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Shadow, aka the Foster Shadow Collector, welcome to another Disney related video on my channel. So, for today's video guys, we actually got a few updates on the Snow White Limited Edition doll from the Disney Designer Ultimate Collection series. So if you guys are excited for that, be sure to hit that thumbs up, be sure to hit that sub button down below if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's dive in right into it. Alright, so first things first, so it's thanks to Amber that this initially came out. Uh, she's actually a cosplayer that got the chance to do a cosplay design for the new Snow White doll. And yesterday she posted them up and then a few hours later we got some official photos from the Shop Disney store. But first we're going to go into Amber's photos right here on her Instagram. I'll leave a link to her Instagram down below. In the description so if you want to give her a huge follow by all means so without further ado let's go right into it so her cosplay dress looks absolutely gorgeous it's definitely on point with the doll itself down below we got a few photos here showcasing the doll and her cosplay outfit and if we go right here we got even a closer look at the doll itself so I already did this video once but more information kind of came out and pertains to the doll with more photos and so on and so forth. But I would say this, it's not the worst doll of the line, at least as of right now, I don't think so. I think it could be better. No discredit to the artist who came up with this design, which is Stephen Thompson. Which to me, is kind of a bit of a letdown because he created some very good designs in the past for the Disney designer line. So... This is kind of a very step down for me personally for this Snow White. Um, she does look very good. It's just I was expecting something more from her. Uh, if you look um, right here, you can see there are gem uh, gemstones or rhinestones or somewhat um, along the skirt itself. And then down here on the trim, we got some, I want to say that's a embroidery or something of that nature. Um, just going around the trim of the dress right here. I will say this cape looks very, very good and these high res photos. So I'm expecting it to feel really soft in person. Hopefully that's true. I'm just not a fan of the scrunchy thing that's going around her neck still. I I just think it doesn't really work for her. It's weird because when um, Amber did a cosplay, it actually looks a lot better it's probably because, like, it's not scrunched up around her neck. It's kind of, like, laid flat around instead of just being bunched up around her neck. So that's probably why it looks a little better. Yeah, I just don't like this style right here, personally. I know some of you think I'm a hater or whatever, and that's fine. But the, the thing is, I'm not saying the doll is absolutely trash. It's just I think it could be better, and I think that there are dolls in the lineup thus far that are far better than this design. That's just my personal opinion of it. You guys can let me know what you think down below. But this crown looks pretty nice. All these looted eyelashes, they should be, right? I think the whole line had them. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about this. It's definitely got more designs that more details than I, than I initially thought there were. If you look really closely, you can see there are some patterns on the inside of the cape itself. And I think there might be a one or two patterns on the translucent dress itself too. And if we go to the previous photo, it's definitely a step up with the high res photo. It definitely looks a lot better than the initial leak that came from Disney release. So I will say that it definitely looks better in this type of setting. If we go to the Shop Disney, she's actually on added to the roster up top. And we scroll down, we got a much better view right here, like nice up and close. So we can see, I don't know what these are supposed to be right here, honestly. I don't know if that's supposed to be roses or what, but uh, they're definitely there. And we got this nice crown on her head. I'm not sure what this pattern is, but it's definitely embroidered on there. Pretty unique pattern. And then her shoes look very good, actually. I really like these. So yeah, this Snow White does look very good. It's just, I don't think she's the best one out of the line. I don't know if I consider her the worst one out of the line thus far, but she's definitely not flashy. I'll put it that way. She's not flashy like some of the others in the line. So there's that. And 
You guys can let me know what you think of the Snow White down below. She is coming out on the 14th of June. Most likely, it's going to be both for the U.S. and the U.K., so I would not be surprised if they released on the same day. The past few leaves few releases have been releasing on the same day, so would not shock me in the least bit if they keep doing that for the line. So yeah, that's all I got for the Snow White. Now if we scroll down here, guess who's been added finally? Cinderella. Now, apparently Cinderella is coming out before Belle. So we are in the month of June, so Snow White is June, July is Rapunzel, um, August is Cinderella, and September is going to be Belle. <clears throat> it's quite interesting. Um, there's supposed to be fifteen dollars, so there's three more after this. So hopefully, once we get close to Bell's release, um, they'll show up on the store instead of being a huge hush hush secret. I'm hoping it's the Frozen Sisters and Vibe. Uh, we shall see who they decide to do. They could do Giselle from Disenchanted or, Ench or Enchanted. We still have a guy a live action doll this year either. I mean. Disenchanted is not coming out till like later, like uh, around October, November, so maybe that's when we'll get the live action doll this year. We shall see. Um, hopefully, the rest of the line does look really good. The one that I'm most excited for, really, is Belle. I'm sure Rapunzel is going to look great. Uh, if she does blow me away, I'll probably purchase her. The only thing that's holding me back is I already have the 17 inch uh, 10th anniversary doll, so. Unless this really blows my mind, I probably won't buy her. Cinderella, uh, I'm not really like, I'm not really jumping out of my seat for Cinderella, so she would have to blow me away in, in order to purchase her. But once again, um, if there's another Save More Sale that applies to the limited edition dolls, I will most certainly grab them all. It's just a matter of, are they going to do that again, or was that just a one-time thing? We shall see what happens. Maybe they'll do it towards the end of this line, but that's all I got for you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you all in the next one.